Hey, it's your girl Flux Diamond, and I'm back with another video for IG. And I just want to do a um, card reading. So, bye bye, baby Yoda. Okay. Using this little deck, it has a gesture on it. And um, I tried to draw a heart, but it kind of looked like a conversation check box, but whatever. I decided um, I got a new phone. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm now team iPhone, so I'm playing music on my old phone. First song was Love on the Brain. Second song is T.I. Don't Hate Me, Shawty. <laughs> That's what T.I. said to the people. Okay. Prayer is, thank you God for looking after me these 32 years. 33, I'm 33, y'all, these 33 years of my life. I ask that you please continue to do so. On today, I ask that you assist me with the questions I have on today. In your name I pray, amen. I'm just going to do a general what is the highest message for the collective on today. But I'm going to say, um, God, what is the highest message for my viewers to see on today, tomorrow, and thereafter? What is the highest message for my viewers to receive on today, tomorrow, and thereafter? What is the highest message for my viewers to receive on today, tomorrow, and thereafter? Okay. One more time. God, what is the highest message for the viewers to receive on today, tomorrow, and thereafter? Okay. Okay, we got card number 27. Okay, in this card, you see this woman, she's in red. She has a red flower, a red bird, Venus flytrap. She has light behind her and all the bugs are around it. This is, uh, I did read the book about this one. This is about magnetism. Like, all the bugs are flying around the light. This is number nine, too. So nine is like completion. Two, seven plus two is nine. So, I just want to say that uh, if your light is shining, be, be, be weary of people who are not aware of their own light. They will become moths to your flame. And uh, when moths go into the light, they die. When a fly goes into a Venus flytrap, they die. You know, a hummingbird sometimes can stick its nose into a flower and get stuck. Okay. You know, a, a woman, you know, a lady in red, a hook hooker, that's what, you know, they know them as, and she can hook you. So be very careful of people coming to you attracted by your light, attracted by your beauty, attracted by your aura, because then when they become hurt and they can't control it or attain it, they will become violent. Okay? The next one is 43, four plus three is seven. Okay? I did read about this card in the book. I didn't really like the meaning of, of the card. Um, it was saying she's um, vain. 
the lady. She's um, isolated and she's only, you know, in love with herself. Uh, it's kind of like a mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? But if you look on this, there's somebody else on her easel. That's not her. Who is that? Okay, we got another song. It is Let It Go by James Bay. Um, if I did my own self-interpretation of this card, It would be whoever is on the easel is, is somebody she misses. It's like a part of her. And when she looks in the mirror, it's like she sees them. Even though in her reflection in the mirror, it shows herself. But she sees herself as this person on the painting which is somebody else. So it's like when I look at me, I see you. That's what I see. And this is number seven. And seven is a spiritual number, uh, like seventh heaven, it's like ascension. When you reach number seven, you are coming into a spiritual awakening. I got 222 on my phone, seven straight up on my uh, camera. Okay. And so also when I look at this, I get that song, Mirrors. It's like you are mirror, the mirror is staring back at me. Okay, because she's surrounded by mirrors and also she's in blue and she's on a blue couch. It's communication. She's talking to the man in the mirror. Okay, next card is 13. 13 is transformation. The number 13, because 13 cannot be found on a clock. It's the very first number after the clock. Jesus was the 13th disciple. 13 is representative of change, stability, brand new stability. Not what we know as stability, which is really dependence on the system. 13, that number four is stability within yourself, within your spirit. And it comes out and it gives you that wealth, wealthy stability that you don't have to constantly strive for. Spiritual stability, 13, spiritual stability gives you material stability on the outside that you don't have to constantly strive for. When you first find stability, you always have to work hard and hard and constantly and constantly to maintain it. But when you become like Jesus, when you become like the black cat, when you become Friday the 13th, when you become something that nobody can predict 24 hours a day, you ain't striving for shit. It comes to you. It's magnetism, it's magnetic. And you're gonna get everything, even what you don't want. So you have to have, you got to be discerning. You got to talk to the man in the mirror. You got to talk to yourself. You can say that this person that's on the easel is her masculine side. She's talking to her masculine side, which is God, because you're a woman's inner masculine is, you know, the unseen. Masculine is the unseen. So I'm talking to myself, I'm protecting myself because I know that I'm on a new level. Um, I got that two, 50 cent. Okay, I got a new song. Heaven by Julia Michaels. Um, it's 50 cent. 
God's seamstress that tell of my pain. I got scriptures. I got scriptures in my brain. I can something. But anyway, he said God's the seamstress that tell of tell of my pain. Okay. We're gonna do one more. This is uh number 40. They said she's a seamstress and it's about time. This is um this is number four. Okay, forty plus four plus zero is four. Um, I really believe that whoever is doing this has broken the cycle because the hourglass said the hourglass is about a cycle. You keep turning it and turning it and turning it and turning it, and you know it's just a cycle it goes around and around and around. But this hourglass, the sand is slipping out. Sand slipping through your fingers. It's saying that time isn't real, it's an illusion. Don't be caught up on you're going through a cycle. You're not, you're not going through a cycle, you're on a journey. Also, uh, I would say your third eye is open, so whatever you see on, on the inside is projected out. This, this was your reality. And if you're listening to this song, whatever you get, whatever vibe you get from this song, that's what's real to you. Whatever you message you pick up from this reading, that's what's real to you. Whatever movie you see and whatever message you get, that's what's real to you. You know, whatever you see in this shower curtain slash my background, <laughs> That's your reality, you know what I'm saying? Whatever this on my face looks like to you. I said it's a heart, but it looks like a, a text message box to me. It could look like something else to you. And they could correlate to your life. And that's how you receive messages because they come from the inside. And then uh, they reflect out. Uh, one more, I'm gonna do the bottom. Okay. I never got this card. Next song, Tell Me It's Real by Casey and JoJo. 1307 on my phone. Um, so it's like she's putting her life together. Or she is a puzzle piece that'll never be complete. You know, um, we always say we want to know God and we want to know ourselves and we want to know our partner, 13, 33, but we'll never fully know somebody because we're always transforming. This is six plus four is 10. So, you could say she's found all the puzzle pieces, but once you put all the puzzle pieces together, um, what do you do? You can take them all apart. You can um, donate your puzzle to, to the Goodwill so somebody else can put that puzzle together. That's like giving away your knowledge of this uh, experience you just went through. You, you pass it on to somebody else to help them get through that experience. And then you get another fucking puzzle. Shit don't stop. The journey is no set destination. So to wrap it up. Okay, yeah, okay, to wrap it up. You are right now in your light, you are walking in your light, you are a God realized being. You are magnetic, you are attracting both what you want and what you don't want. And you have to be discerning 
of the things that are not aware that they have the same ability that you do to attain this light within you because they can try to snuff your light out. And even they know they are incapable of doing that, they will attempt and they will get angry when they do not succeed. And anger kills. It's a double-edged sword. And um, so be discerning. Talk to the man in the mirror. Communicate with your higher self. Look in the mirror. Be honest with yourself. Always. Because God is your seamstress. God would not put nothing more on you than you could bear. You survived. You're a survivor, and not many people can actually say that. Not many people in this world actually survive the first half of their life. They usually continuously live that life. They continuously live that life. Slip in that hourglass, hourglass. Never let in time slip away and to be reborn again. They never open their third eye. They never finish the first puzzle that you have. You have arrived. And this has not made it to Instagram. This is gonna be on YouTube. And so, my last word is congratulations. And, um, this does not mean that there will be no more troubles. That saying, new levels, new devils, uh, more money, more problems. We live in a world of duality, so we are going to constantly experience what we um, consider pain. And our, our job is to transcend that pain over and over again. And that is the God within us, the, the Jesus within us, our Christ consciousness. Uh, that's what makes us divine. That's what makes us superhuman. That's what makes us special, God's children. The next song is uh, Encore by Cheryl Lynn and... I love you guys and good love, and I don't know about y'all, but I love two rounds. <laughs> All right, catch y'all later.